let's take a look at the piece I'll be making over in this video. I got this dresser off Facebook Marketplace for a steal. It only cost me $5. It is a solid wood dresser with walnut veneer in excellent condition. There are just a few scratches and dings, but overall it is a really well-made piece. It's manufactured by Bassett Company and has its maker's mark in the top left drawer. My vision for this piece is to do a dipped look. Basically, I wanna make it look like the bottom part of this dresser has literally been dipped in paint. So keep watching to see how I achieve this look. As always, the first part of any makeover is removing the hardware and giving the piece a good cleaning. At this point, I wasn't sure if I was going to keep the original hardware or change it out. So I didn't fill in the hardware holes to begin with. I did, however, use some Bondo to fill in any sort of uh, dings and scratches on the lower half of the piece that I would be painting. You can't stain Bondo, so I couldn't use it on the top part of the piece that wouldn't be painted. For a dipped look, the top part of the dresser remains bare wood and the bottom part is painted. So I had to remove the existing finish off the top part of the dresser. Whenever I need to get down to the bare wood on a piece and it's a large area, I prefer using stripper over sanding it. I really hate sanding and stripper allows me to take off most of the finish and then minimizes my time sanding. I used circa 1850 stripper and applied a good thick layer all over the area of the top of the dresser that I wanted to get down to bare wood. I let it sit for about 15 minutes and once it had um, activated, I then removed the finish using a metal spatula. This stripper smells really bad and so it's really important that when using it you wear proper PPE. That means a respirator to prevent yourself from breathing in the fumes. I also wear goggles and uh, chemical resistant gloves just in case there's any um, splashing of the stripper. I definitely don't want it to get onto my skin or in my eyes. For areas that were more detailed and where my metal spatula just wouldn't fit, I used some fine steel wool that was soaked in more stripper and gently rubbed off the finish in those areas. After I was done removing all of the stripper, I used some mineral spirits to clean off the piece and wipe off any leftover residue that might be there. I let everything dry and then my piece was ready to sand. I used my Surf Prep electric gray sander with 180 grit 
to sand off the remaining stain from the top areas of the dresser that I wanted to get down to bare wood. The areas that my surf prep just couldn't reach, I sanded by hand. I then used a 220 grit and scuff sanded the rest of the piece, including sanding down all the areas that I had filled in with Bondo. So now that I've sanded down the drawers, the top two drawers, I'm realizing that the there's two different types of wood here. This is a walnut veneer, and this is maybe oak or elm, I'm not quite sure. So if I stain this drawer, the two different types of wood are gonna take the stain differently, and it's not gonna give me a nice cohesive look that I'm looking for. So I've decided to do a paint wash over the drawers that will make the two types of wood blend together a little bit better and still give me that uh, bare wood look on the top part of the dresser that I'm going for. And because I'm paint washing and not staining, I can now fill these hardware holes and put new hardware on, because if I were to stain it, the, even if filling these hardware holes, you would have still seen them with the stain. But now that I'm paint washing, I think it'll camouflage uh, it in a little bit better and I can put new hardware, which is kind of what I wanted to do right from the beginning. So everything is sanded down and now I'm going to add a paint wash. So what I have mixed in here is um, some beige colored paint. It's actually Algonquin by Fusion Mineral and I watered it down in a two to one ratio. So one part paint, two parts water. And what I want to do is just give this whole top part a wash of color so that you'll still see the wood grain, um, but it will just kind of unify the color a little bit. So. How I do a wash is I, I literally just apply the wash on any which way and then I take a rag and just rub it in like that and it's hard to see but it as it dries it forms this just a light wash over everything and kind of lightens the color a little bit. And the great thing about paint washing is if you want, you can always go back and add more um, in any areas where you feel like it's not enough or you didn't think it's dark enough. And if you have areas where you feel like you got too much paint, you can go back and lightly sand it off. Once I was done adding the paint wash to the top part of the dresser, it was time to add the paint. So the paint would go on the bottom part of the dresser and I wanted to get a nice crisp line dividing the top and the bottom. So I measured out exactly where I wanted that line to be and then used frog tape to mask it off. Frog tape is the only tape I would use for something like this where I want to get very crisp, clean lines. Any other tape I've used has just not worked for this. Um, so frog tape 
is pretty expensive, um, but it works great for these crisp, clean lines. Once I had finished masking off the areas where I had added the paint wash, it was time to prime and paint the bottom part of this piece. I used Kills Restoration Primer and sprayed on two coats of primer and then followed that with three coats of paint. I used Bare Cabinet and Trim Paint in the color Nightclub. After I was done painting, I removed the tape and I didn't like where I had chosen to have the paint meet the paint wash on this dresser. I had originally made that cutoff line right underneath the top drawers and I decided I wanted to raise it up just about two inches so that the paint line would come actually um, right in the top drawers. I thought this would make the piece look a little bit more interesting and different than some other dipped looks that I've seen. I sanded out the original paint line so that it would be feathered out and blend in better with the new paint. I then drew a new paint line a little bit higher on the dresser as well as along the bottom part of the top drawers and then uh, filled that in with paint. These drawers were pretty dry inside and so I used some Howard's Eden Wax to rejuvenate the inside of the drawers and hydrate them. I love this stuff. I think it works wonders and it gives this mild uh, citrusy type scent to the inside of my drawers. So before I show you the final reveal, let's go over the numbers on this makeover. I got this piece, I was so lucky, I got it for $5 off Facebook Marketplace. Things like paint and primer, top coat, all of that cost me around $30. And the only other real expense for this piece was the hardware, which cost me $30 as well. So all in my total expenses was $65. I sold this piece on Facebook Marketplace for $550, making my total profit $485. That is one of the highest profits I have ever made on a furniture flip. 
Although I did spend a little bit more time um, on this makeover because I had to you know, redo the paint line. I also had to strip and sand down the top of this dresser. Whole makeover took me about 10 hours uh, total working time. It still makes my hourly rate about 48 and a half dollars an hour, which is pretty good. I am so, so thrilled with how this piece turned out and I cannot wait to show you guys. So let's take one more look at the before and then I'll show you the final reveal. So what do you guys think? I am in love with how this piece turned out. I think it looks so classy and elegant, but modern and yet timeless. I don't know, it gives me these Studio McGee vibes. Maybe it's the, the tiny uh, hardware that I put on it. Whatever it is, I absolutely loved it. I wanted to keep it, but unfortunately I don't have room for it anywhere, so I did end up selling it. Let me know in the comments below if you think it gives you Studio McGee vibes or if you think you will ever try this paint dipped look again. I know I'm going to be doing many other pieces in using this technique. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed watching it, please be sure to comment, like, share, subscribe, do all the things. It really helps me put out more content like this out for all of you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next makeover.